Hello and welcome back. We are looking for an Islander thief who apparently robbed the guy. So, not sure who she is. Winds blow sweet upon you. We just gotta snoop around. Uh oh. And probably don't become thieves ourselves. Storm Speaker Ikafa? I think it's her. Seated upon a chair before the bonfire, Ikaha looks considerably more comfortable here in her home village. She prods absently at the coals with a long stick. Ikaha's lined face is pocked with fading scars, but there is no hostility in her calm appraisal as you approach. They told me what became of your ship. I say again that you are lucky. It is the only ship that survives. I don't feel that lucky. I could protect Port Maje. Or else it's ships, but not both. Perhaps Clario thinks I chose poorly. It doesn't look like the storm did much, much damage here. Well, that's because it this place is a piece of crap. What is that? Deathfire Archipelago, Dexterity, plus Island of Mana. I guess I don't have that. So the storm didn't do much damage here. To a storm speaker, the storm is a friend, gentled by a word. And Satahuzi is blessed with several storm speakers. We were able to shield the village from much of the weather. Some of it is mere luck. Most of our canoes were here by the shore. We did lose one of our voyagers. It will take some work to replace it. Oh, that's a bummer. <clears throat> I guess you and the governor doesn't don't really get along. Better than it may seem. Clario can be reasoned with, especially if one approaches him with coin in their pocket. He is not a cruel man. I suspect he might even enjoy life on the island if he were free of his masters. Right. Mohaku is causing trouble in town? Ikaha sighs deeply and folds her arm, her hands in her lap. Mokeha is proud, like her father. Each day, this alliance tests her patience. What has happened? Is she your daughter? She shares my blood, my caste, my temper. But she is a daughter of the tribe. It is different among our people. I just need her to return what she stole. She nearly killed a man. Yep. Mokeha could have killed him if she wished to. Is it not enough that he lives? She lives in your village. She is your responsibility. Fair enough. If you wish something from Mokeha, my advice is to trade for it. Is that not how the outsiders get everything they need? That's not how it works with criminals! God damn it. You're a bad mother. Roparu Worker, Chieftain's Lodge, is anybody in here? Wow. Saber. Mataru Clothing. Damn. Chieftain's Lodge. Who would have thought? It was completely empty. That's crazy. You are joking. Maybe I should I tell some of these guys. Now I've dreamed of this place. Small. They all dreamed of a uh, I don't know, an island. So chill. So peaceful. But it's also very boring. So it's not as good. I just talked to Moheka. Moheko, what are you doing? The Omana woman steps sideways, angling herself uh, towards you, and meets your gaze with an intense stare. I do not know you. Yeah. Her voice is quiet, but each word is clipped and harsh. You were looking for Kawa? No. 
Brinko says that you robbed him during a card game. Rinko? She scoffs in a guttural burst of sound. The Valian? You jest, Akira. I should have thrown him into the sea. He dares to call me a thief? Last warning. I won't go down as easily as Brinko. <laughs> Intimidate. Every trace of uh, contemptuous amusement vanishes at once from Mohaka's face. You come to our territory under the Elder's eye to threaten us? When you are dead, I will throw your carcass to the sharks. Uh oh. Well, this vents out a little bit. Let's do chill fog. Oh, she's dead. Uh oh, Moheka. But if you have any Wow, really? Huh? It's back up, but that's not going to help a lot. Wow, really? Your party has died. Okay, I guess I have to go with the last save. Well, lesson learned, just because you can intimidate, doesn't mean you should intimidate. So, I'm going with that one. Okay. Where were we? Is this before or after I looted the entire lodge? This is after. So this is basically after I looted the lodge and ran down to talk to Moheka. Follower of the light? The light? Oh, you mean, uh, well, depends on what you mean by follow. Maybe you heard earlier? I follow Aethys too. Mostly, in a way. I mean, I am a child of the Dawn Stars, even if firstly I'm a Gaunite. That's, uh, that's good, I guess, for you. Uh, oh, maybe you don't want to talk about it. That's all right. Surely. Some other time, then. Was it the way I said it? Or maybe I'm in need of a washing. <laughs> okay, Mohaka, let's talk. I do not know. You were you. looking for a Kawa? Oh, let's just skip the, the compensation Valian? options we already checked. You jest, Akira. I should have thrown him into the sea. He dares to call me a thief. So, why didn't you tell me what really happened? What else? The Valians are fools. But Akawa wishes to trade, so we must be patient. We must save them from Nagati's storms. Even when they ignore our advice. Nagati is a Huana trickster goddess with a humanoid body and the head of a angler fish who is thought to lure marines either into or out of trouble at her whim. We often worship her as Andra, making the Huana the only people that believe Andra has a physical manifestation. Ikawa told me I should see the tavern, speak with their people, learn patience. The traitor Aophania, she taught me to play Valian cards. A simple game, but none would play with me in the tavern. Not until Rinko. I thought him kind, until I proved the victor, and he grew angry. Until he stood in front of his kin and called me a Mataru of Sadahuzi, a filthy islander and a cheat. Okay. For that? Yes. I beat him. Why does this concern you? Without the coin, Rinko will lose his home. Don't be foolish. Clario will see to him. What is that? Diplomacy and intellect. That isn't how it works. The Valians have to pay for their food and pay taxes. His kinsmen would let him starve? 
Mohaku's brows furrow and her eyes search your face. Yeah, that's right. Why did this not prevent him playing at cards in the first place? Are all Valians so mad for coin? So then, what am I to do? I did not wish him dead. What? I don't want to attack you. Mainly because you whooped my ass. <laughs> uh, give him the coin purse and we'll call it square. Huh. Then here is what you came for, though it is an uneven trade. She considers the coin purse in her hand for a moment before handling it to you. Her mouth twists in a resentful frown. You have gained a quest item. <laughs> yeah, wrinkle coin purse. I will ask our chieftain to send a healer for that idiot Valian. Perhaps that will quiet his whimpering. You're a good person. Despite what happened. She gave back the money. That she rightfully won. Why not? And uh well Leave it to me. Based on what she told me, but considering that she gave back the money, I'm I'm very uh well, eager to believe her at this point. And also oh, gonna send uh, him a I healer. Dreamed of this place. Do I go to Gorechi Street now? Or do we just go to Port Maya Harbor? Alright. Oh, I can just go to Brinko's home right away. So, am I gonna be in front of or inside Ringo's home? Quickly. Well, that was answered pretty quickly. Hi, right, Ringo. Most days I'd fire up the kettle for you or something. I spoke Sorry. to Mo. Yeah, I spoke to Mohaka. She claims that she won fairly, and you insulted her. A surprise! The brute speaks, and you have survived the conversation in one piece. Ringo, you're an asshole, man. Nell. Perhaps my tongue was loosened by drink. What of it? Is any man who insults the savages pride you a beating? The law is on my side. Confess to Dharma or spend the rest of your sorry life eating nothing but soup. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. Rinko stares up at you, his eyes wide, his hands gripped tightly at the sheets. It is not enough that she has ruined me. Now you threaten me in my home. Please, for the sake of my son, I will tell the guards the truth. I swear it. I must hope that Clario's dogs will be more merciful than you. The moment the ship arrives, I will take my family back to Ostia. I'm keeping Papa company till he's better. Uh, I guess I need to be very careful with intimidation, which is fine, which is great. I, I love having consequences, but to be fair, uh, she was a bit hot-headed. Like, just because someone intimidates you doesn't mean you have to murder them. Anyhow, can I just go... Okay, I can actually just go on the map. Gretchen Street, can I go there? No, no, this is just opening up the map. I need to go and find a way to get out of this place. Then go to Gretchen Street. The reason I did the Rinko mission first is just, just to make sure that we do things. I got look. As much as possible, like uh, one at a time, because who knows? Maybe we're gonna find like five more missions in the in Gorachi Street. As you make your way along uh, through the side streets of Port Maya, you come upon visible traces of the storms passing. Many of the houses here boast cracked window panes and uh, sagging awnings. 
and you pass narrow streets strewn with foliage and debris. The cobblestones beneath your feet are still slick with water and silt. Before long you are ankle deep in sucking mud and loose stones. The flooding only worsens up ahead, where the water level rises to the knees. Most of Port Maya's residents have fled this region for dry land. But the murmur of raised voices ahead and the occasional splash suggests that you are not entirely alone. Mm. This game looks great. Oh, wow, that, that's fast mode? Oh, some looters. Uh oh. I'm getting shot from the side. Maybe do a deflection. She's down. Gaping wounds. Oh, that sickle is a melee weapon. That's instant. She's doing the heal. What is this? Holy Radiance? Let's do a Holy Radiance. Take that. Slog Zone. All right. Okay. Archibos. Good thing that I picked up some extra uh, health. And even like this, uh, she is in a tough spot. Something must be wrong with my vision. No matter how much I blink, I... Cannot make out more than blurry lights in the darkness. But you, you are quite blinding. I'm sorry, but you're dead. Come with me, I'll help you. Dead? Oh, but this is terrible. The spirit signs, wispy shoulders, slumping. Let me ease this one's pain, Watcher. Dark eyes solemn. Sorry circles her lantern around the departed soul. Okay, that's some medical supplies. Sure. Protective Eltasian charm. Perception. Grants darkest before dawn. Heal over time and reduce incoming damage when Weaver is near death. Um, okay. Maybe I'm gonna use that. Oh, it's just the new hunting bow. No sorting? No, that's not what I wanted. Okay. No specifics. It's more like it. Isn't 
So where can I go inside? Nowhere? Yeah, I have places where I can leave this uh, flooded area. More ghosts. Nothing but endless gray mist. This is not the afterlife I was promised. My friend here is a harvester of gone. She'll help you find your way. Right. You'd best follow me then. She addresses the empty air. A smidge to the left of where the deceased woman actually stands. But when she glides her lantern through the soul's amorphous form, the essence coalesces inside. Oh. There is someone here. Gotta wait in my lantern now. Almost feel like I can hear the soul when I jostle it around. How are you feeling? Have you suffered any recent nightmares? I did. Recently with you. Uh, okay. You were walking the depths of the ocean, but you didn't drown. And in your hand, you gripped the key to Aeora's end. Her face lights with fierceness. Sure. It's sweet that you dreamt of me drowning in the ocean, doing some things with a key. I've seen stars wreathing a statue's brow, and souls flowing like tears over gleaming Audra. And then my god headed into the heart of the storm, where he could find the darkness. Tell me what's on your mind? Nothing particular. Should you be swearing so much as a priestess? I don't mind. <laughs> I reckon not. She grins wide and confident. But I can't help but be a touch wayward. I don't take it too far. My mom caught me once necking in the murkberry stalks. And of course I fight. But I've not done much more than that. And I don't use the real ugly words. She waggles her sickle around in a helpless sort of gesture. Sometimes the feelings, they just come tumbling right out of me. God darn it. Uh, what do you think of Theo Eotas? We talking during the Saints' War or after he died? Your choice. After, I mean now. Then you mean gone. Sure, maybe my god still answers to Aethys as well. Why not? But Aethys died. And death requires change. And do you think he changed for the better? He ain't what he was. Not in exactly the same way. That's why I think his other aspect... His darkness in the light is what's burning brighter in him now. What's your take on Iotas following the Saint w Saints' War? Then you mean gone. He ain't what he was. Tell me about gone Iotas exactly leading up way. and during the Saints' War. Mm, I really only know what my folks taught me. She scratches the back of her head, hesitant. Aethys embodied Saint Widwin, but during the war he got blown to bits. That's the thing about human bodies. Eventually, they all gotta die. As the god of rebirth, of course, saith this would be coming back. But where I differ from my family's view, and my high priestess's view, is that I've studied the apotheosis of Gone, and I know all about the backside, the downward swoop, the death part of the cycle of life. Abscission, rot, regrowth. What's gone can never be again. What comes back is changed, always. Even if what comes back is a god. Okay, let's talk of some, something else. No need to fiddle foot around. I'm listening. That's all I'm for now. We talked. Hey, I what? wanted to ask you something. It's about Shodi. What? Sleight of hand? What do you want to ask? She, she means well. I can see that. And she's spirited, and if I was still young and didn't know the things I know, it'd be different. But anybody got that much faith in any god, let alone Aethys, I don't know how to talk to someone like that. Not these days. Just call them crazy behind their back. And I talk about the weather. When you're talking to them, easy. I get why she's like that. 
And I was there once, long time back. His eyelids uh, flare with relived embarrassment. But it's because of that I can't see a way to respect it. <sighs> yeah, it's more of a dilemma because it is not just your personal fate that you know you know it's it's personal you believe in what you want to believe fair enough but once it becomes dangerous you know it's a little bit something else i'm no good at hiding it from her either i don't see this getting better keep avoiding her the less you talk to her the better well i kind of said it as a joke but yeah we kind of need to have a way to deal with it I think she's good, but she's misguided, and I can work with that. You're going to have to pretend to respect her. If she can't deal with the truth, that's her problem, not yours. There's more to her than you're giving her credit for. But I don't really know that. I think... Actually, let's just scratch that. In order to grow as a person, you need to be faced with the truth. And if sh if her fate cannot be cannot stand the the challenge of us speaking our minds, then her uh, fate is weak, and it needs to be re-examined anyway. If she can't deal with the truth, that's her problem, not yours. Exactly. All right, I'm not gonna hide it. Won't be pretty though. No, it's it's the way to go. All right, let's see. Hey, Ilari. To get this lost, Aimika, you must have been trying real hard. <laughs> the young elf's hand drops to the pistol on his belt, palming the grip. The faintest hint of a sneer plays about his lips as he watches you, unblinking. Well... What are you doing here? Savia sent me. She needs you to put a stop to the looting. Ilari snorts, his nose uh, wrinkling. He regards you for a moment longer in expectant silence. Then he throws his head back, letting out the braying, unpleasant laugh. <laughs> Merle, she must be desperate. Not so desperate as to come here on her knees to beg for herself. But she sent you. No, there's my answer. I get my cut. There's no sense in ruining a good thing. I'll show you a cut. Merla. It's a bit unfortunate that my uh, mage has to go first. I might just have to withdraw her as well. Yeah, she just instantly got murdered. Like that's not not what we want. No iconic projection. What? That's a lot of slash damage. That was pretty bad. Let's heal. Second wind. Can I just knock him down? So she's out of uh oh yeah, she's out of skills now. He's out of skills as well. Maybe maybe we need to use 
in power. How does it work? If I don't heal, this is gonna be hopeless. Oh, that seems like a good bump. Hardly seems fair. Do we know uh, about their stats? Ilari. We don't know his health. Well, this is maximum health. Wait. All things must go to an end. Even oh, Ilari's gonna I don't think I go down. Shody's done for. Okay, uh, can you make this happen? We had some good times. Knock him down. Concentration. Oh, that's gonna be a good one. No! Oh, he's back. Okay. Whew. Uh, we got it. More deflection? Cape? Uh, yeah, take it all. Sure. That's all their stuff. It's gotta be Adder's. Because he's the tank. Uh, where's the defense? Deflection 57. Deflection 19. 39. So Adder needs to be the one that goes first. Hmm. And Watcher needs to stay the hell back. Actually, it's kind of pointless. Can I actually rest? Remove injuries. Water. Hylia's bounty. Sheep crew morale. Um. Sure. So how much it costs me? The Kraken Eye. Wrinkles home. Maybe we're gonna go to the Kraken Eye and rest. That seems good to me. So we're gonna pay, get paid for these thugs. We also got their stuff. Damn. <laughs> Watcher doesn't really have a uh, high health or good defenses. Crew's getting antsy. Still kicking, eh? I like a room, sure please. Thing. Last for one rest, plus two diplomacy, intimidate, and bluff. Okay, uh, forty-three. Sure. Maybe we cut them loose. We're not leaving anytime soon. Alright, nice. We got a buff as well. Nice. Okay. Let's get the hell out. All the injuries are gone. Red Sarens, Adherence, the Dear Wooden. What next? Port Maya Fresh trading fish. post. Are you still here, Altaria? We have supplies here. Have a look. What kind of supplies you got? Death small. Sure. Okay, Port Maya jail. And we need to head east. Because that's the mission we have right now. We head east. Savia? Keeping out of trouble. Ilari's dead. A he won't give dead. you any trouble. Madiko. I hoped Ilari might be of use. 
The people knew him, respected him. He would have been trouble in the end, but no need to have hurried that along. Well, here you are, for your time. If I had ten women like you, the whole of Port Marja would be set right within the week. Alright. Um, gonna level up, I guess. Arcana. Let's go for a little bit more mechanics. Metaphysics, history, insights. Let's just go for insight. Not sure what I need. Two weapon style. No, 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 no. I actually have a two handed style. The question is will I actually spend? Uh, yeah, I, I can't. I, I use two handed weapons, but do I really want to spend a point to get better at that? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe yes. So, let's do that. Oh. More available weapon types I can get better at. Maybe hunting bow? Two-handed style and hunting bow. Sure. Looks good, I guess. Edder, what, what about you? Talk to Edder. We don't really need that right now. Athletics. Sure. Intimidate. Street vice. Let's go for street vice. Into the fray. I already have weapon and shield. What is this? Uh, that's a good defense, I guess. So I'm better with proficient weapons. While wielding a single one-handed weapon, some of the attacker's hits are converted to crits, which is fine for a, a tank. Plus, to all defense against intellectual affliction, perception affliction, constitution afflictions. Confident tame seems good. Mm, let's do that. Oh, okay. I can learn more. Weapons, I guess. Half sword. Bonus crit damage. Dagger is accurate. Club is accurate. Graze is converted to hits. Deflection against melee weapons. Hatchet. So good for a tank. Rapier is accurate. Five accuracy is pretty important, actually. Stiletto. Sword. It's hard. So does the saber. Plus 10% damage with saber attacks. Which is pretty damn good. What do I get if I go sword? Okay, I guess I'm gonna go with Hatchet. I need to level up so many times. Mm -hmm. And I'm not too familiar with the skills. But I kinda know the skills, but still, I'm not terribly familiar with them. Can you go with Survivor? One-handed style, two-handed style. I'm not sure what I want. Spiritual weapon? Call forth the divine weapon specific to your deity and empower by, by your fate. But that's really not that good still. I think I'm just gonna go with Pillar of Fate. 
Huh. Saber. Yeah, Saber seems fine. Anyhow. Eh? So... What now? Actually, I have a rolling flame in there. Plus mirror damage. Plus footed deflection for a, a long ass time. But it's reduced with each hit taken. So that's not the best. Is, is it possible to take out stuff? Bewildering spectacle? I already have that equipped. Hmm. Let's make that F2. And uh, let's see what else we got here. I can make this F3 for now. Hmm? And this could be F2. Alright, let's go. And right now, our main and basically only mission is just to head east and check out what is Aotus up to. And Rick. I could hire a guy in the tavern, but I don't really want to. Okay, I'm exiting the city. Population 3200. And I very much suspect that that's the only way to go. Because I did check uh, near our landing, a little bit to the the west as well. Yeah, Hilarious Rest. Not sure if there's anything over here. A burial site. I guess we can check that out. Upoho Viral Woods. Can't go there. Anyway, uh, I suppose this is a good enough time to take a break. So thanks for watching guys and see you next time.